Here we go. Are you folks ready? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Ryan Rafel's epic, amazing show, episode three. Here we go, big time back in the games, doing the thing. Here we go. All right, so welcome, welcome back. This is episode three. I know um, our last episode two, I kind of threw a curveball at you there and we did the uh, live special with Johnny. Johnny will be coming back, rest assured. I know he's a fan favorite. Y'all love him. I know, who wouldn't? He's gonna be coming back more. We're gonna have lots of more content for you, not just on this show, but Ryan Rafels Entertainment in general. Check it out, RyanRafels.com. So, um, yeah, here we go. We are going to start out with news a lot, so let me get ready for this transition. Are you ready? Special things. News a lot. <laughs> bringing you the news local to national all right so our first story of today reads store temperature rapidly changes from day to night popular local store wheelbarrows are us we know we've all been there at least three times has been experiencing rapid temperature changes as it shifts from day to night time employee steve harlanberry reached out to us to tell us of the odd happenings saying i don't know how to dress for work anymore our uniforms are designed for a warm climate, but as soon as that sun goes down, I swear to you, icicles start forming on the ceiling. And it always happens when my manager enters the back room promptly at 5.14 p.m. each day. He even ran over a customer with a wheelbarrow once because he almost missed his time frame. There's still an open lawsuit on that one. Having received word of this, we reached out to the store owner, Hector Schmeckleton, who provided the following overly defensive statement. Because this is what I'm going to tell you right here is this, okay? Wheelbarrows R Us has always been our community's leader in providing wheelbarrow-related services and accessories. We would absolutely never think of trying to produce experimental weather changing technology under the guise of a friendly neighborhood wheelbarrow business. So anyone making this claim will be sued for false accusations and damage of our strictly wheelbarrow-related image. P.S. Come in this week and get you 75% off all 2020 model wheelbarrows subject to availability while supplies last. Yes. Well, upon hearing this statement, most of us here at Ryan Rafel's epic amazing show thought it was pretty sus. However, our skeevy maintenance guy, Dan, emerged from the basement for the first time this year just to reassure us that it's probably nothing. And quite frankly, I feel better already. So our next story of today, man who received random death threat on social media was kinda bummed out for 15 minutes or so. Local man Reginald Robbie was innocently minding his day-to-day -day business when he received a mildly threatening message on social media from a stranger who called him many profanities that did not seem fitting for a person of his standing. Mr. Robbie said of the incident, Yeah, it totally caught me off guard, and I was super bummed out for about 15 minutes. Robbie then said that 16 minutes following the incident, he pretty much forgot about the whole thing and continued living his life as usual. Robbie also commented, If you're feeling insecure enough in your relationship to have to threaten someone's life, please do us all a favor and just turn yourself in. Amen. Now, of course, we can't go without mentioning some of our ever so gracious sponsors. So today's episode is brought to you by Really Old Meat. Look at that. I don't want to eat that. Really Old Meat. All right. And now for a quick commercial break. Catch you on the flip side. Frustrated? Let me tell you something.
you can always take a five minute break. Drink some water. Eat your favorite snack. Treat yourself to a mini online reasonable shopping spree. Go to your favorite relaxation spot with some music that you enjoy. Take care of yourself and do something that you enjoy to take care of your inner child and feel good inside. Remember to take care of yourself if you're feeling frustrated. Alright, hope you enjoyed those messages. I know I did. So now it's time to transition over to your favorite segment. We all know what it is. And that is... Ryan Rafel's instructional videos. Alright, so today we will be learning how to listen to Nickelback. So let's get started. I'm through with standing in line, the clubs I'll never get in. It's like the bottom of the ninth and I'm never gonna win this. Life hasn't turned out quite the way I want it to be. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I grew up listening to Nickelback, and you know what? I thoroughly enjoy them. And so do a lot of my friends. So there. Chad, if you're watching this, we love you from the bottom of our hearts. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to transition back over to news a lot. You already know the deal with the news, the local to the national. Um, so yeah. News a lot. Alright, so our third story of today reads... Newscaster loves throwing in random and vague headlines and then providing zero context or any further information. And now for our next story. Sleeping woman in car is awoken to loud music and puts on impromptu concert in parking lot. A local woman was taking a quick snooze in her car late one night at the 24-hour grocery when she was awoken to Green Day's Jesus of Suburbia blasting out of a neighboring car's stereo. Marsha Warsaw of West Weathered Avenue said she awoke startled, but then recognized the delightful punk anthem and said to the driver of the neighboring car, Let's bleep in jam. After stealing all the audio equipment money could buy from the store, they were conveniently parked in front of, they put on the show of a lifetime, according to Roger Livingston from the original car, who added that the group had no time to practice, they just had to pray for the best. Following the rousing triangle and didgeridoo duet, a large cheering crowd began to gather, which later turned out to be an angry mob of people, which were asleep in the neighboring homes prior to the concert. Miss Warsaw still said, despite the mob, that it was, quote, fun while it lasted. The group of parking lot rockers are expected to be putting on a second concert next week at the local county jail, where they are serving six months on numerous charges. That is the most wholesome story I have read in all of my time doing this. As I shed a tear, we will be taking a quick commercial break and we'll be back after these messages. Hello, fellow humans of the earth. This is an onion. It's terrible, it's cringe, and I don't want it in my face anymore. No one does. We all hate onions. Just, just get rid of it. It's trash. It's terrible. Cringe. Look at this beautiful thing. It'll it'll file your taxes. It'll beat up the bull people who used to bully you. It'll it'll read you bedtime stories and kiss you goodnight. It'll peel it'll constantly peel apart while you're trying to record an infomercial of it. 
It's just got everything you want in this tiny little package. Look, I could store it anywhere. I could store it in the trash can and it'd still be okay to eat. Oh yeah, you can eat these too. Yeah, once you're done with them, you can eat them. Throw them in your mouth. Eat them whole. Cook them. I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye. My name is Garlic and I approve this message. Oh, goodness. Hey, hey buddy. You know something that everybody needs? Light bulbs. You know what you should get them? Buddy's Light Bulb Emporium. You know, I make them all myself. Make all my own light bulbs. And you know something else? These light bulbs. My light bulbs never have any cameras in them like those other guys. I never put cameras in my light bulbs. Who puts cameras in people's light bulbs going into people's homes? People can see you if you got cameras in your light bulbs, but you know who doesn't have those? Buddy. Buddy doesn't have cameras in his light bulbs. So come on down to Buddy's Light Bulb Emporium and get you some. Some of the safest light bulbs you ever seen in your life. <laughs> I'll see you there and nowhere else. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back. More great messages for you. I know, we only have the best. So I have one last story for you today, and that reads, Local McDonald's employee further contemplates walking out when asked if the ice cream machine is working for the 27th time today. Ricky Martinez, a local slave to Ronald McDonald, has been finding himself constantly troubled by nonsense while simply trying to make some money to pay for his first apartment. Martinez stated that he has asked if the ice cream machine is working at least 15 times a day due to a misconception spread on the internet by customers with a feeling of entitlement. In the past four years of Martinez working for the iconic and infamous burger joint, there was a total of two days that the machine was not functioning, which has made Martinez quite irate when hearing the question. Martinez says, with the constant questioning, in addition to several phone calls a week and jokes from customers which are much less than funny, he's closer each day to calling it quits. When asked if there was anything he would like to say in an attempt to ease the issue, Ricky said, The machine is literally never not working. If you're that concerned about ice cream, there's a Dairy Queen right up the road. If I'm asked one more time, my will to live machine will be broken. I'd rather go homeless at this point. We then witnessed Ricky being asked about the machine one more time. RIP. On a side note, Martinez also wanted to add that McDonald's has never ever had $1 french fries or Caesar salads. No, they don't have the two-for-one apple pies anymore and have it for several years. And for the love of God, turn your wipers off if it's raining and you're in the drive-thru. Thank you. Alright, so, once again, thank you so much for watching Ryan Rafel's epic, amazing show. We're going to have lots more coming for you. Like I said, Ryan Rafel's entertainment, rapid growth, rapidly growing. Be sure to keep checking us out at theryanrafels.com to get all of your updates and just everything. Everything's there. That's why it exists for everything. So, you can follow me on Instagram at Ryan C. Rafels. Look for us on Facebook, Ryan Rafels Entertainment, and we're new on Twitter now, also. And um, remember, kids, there is no right or left wing, only dirty politicians that don't care about any of us. So until next time, thank you so much, and have a good night. And one more thing, I love you. I know you don't hear that enough. All right, so I'll see you later. Thank you, have a good night.